This is the installation of the Navtool HA HDD navigation video interface shown on the Acura RDX 2013. This interface is compatible with several Acura and Honda vehicles. Please note that professional installation is recommended. Watch the entire video before starting the installation. Visit navtool.com for more information. This interface enables you to display video input from your iPad, iPhone, or iPod on the new Acura and Honda navigation screen. It provides video and audio connectivity for numerous devices using component or composite video and stereo audio input. HAHDD is compatible with hard drive based Honda and Acura navigation systems. The demonstration of connecting the iPhone to the navigator screen is at the end of this video. For this installation, you'll need the set of removal tools, the screwdriver with the 8mm socket head, the pick tool, the wire stripper, and the electrical tape. Step 1. Preparation of disassembly. Put the ignition on, but do not start the car. Engage the parking brake. Shift the lever into the sport position. Step 2. Removal of the bottom panel. Remove the bottom panel using the plastic removal tool. Proceed with extreme caution. Step 3. Disconnecting the bottom panel. Disconnect the plug in the middle of the bottom panel and set the panel aside. Step 4. Remove the 8mm screw. Remove two 8mm hexagonal head screws located on the top of the bottom panel. Please see the chart for their location. Step 5. Removing the central console radio block and unplugging the connectors on the radio. Remove the central console by pulling it out of its compartment. Start from the bottom and proceed up. Disconnect all the plugs on the back of the radio. Starting from the hazard lights and climate control, you may need assistance in holding the radio during this procedure. Step 6. Installing Navtool Interface, which connectors to use. Installing the Navtool interface into the Acura RDX, you'll interface four connectors. The 28-pin connector data connections of your car. The 16-pin connector provides video connectivity. The 24-pin blue connector of Acura will be connected to matching gray connectors on Navtool harness. The 24-pin connector provides power and ground. This connector, you'll be connecting to the ground and accessory wires. Step 7. Installing Navtool Interface Wiring Preparation In addition to the two plugs, you need to connect the two wires to the vehicle's ground and accessory. Study the diagrams for the location of the wires. The preferred way of making a connection is to strip the wires, make a hole in it, and run the Navtool unit's wire through the middle. The black wire is ground.
The purple wire is accessory. After the wires are connected, secure the connection spots with the electrical tape. The gray wire needs to be connected to the emergency brake gray wire in the left kick panel. Step 8. Connecting the plug and play connections. Connect all four plug-and-play connections in the interface to the matching connections in the vehicle. Step 9. Reconnecting the radio. Reconnect all connectors, climate control, joystick, and hazard lights to the matching plugs of the radio. Make sure no connectors are left unconnected. You may require assistance in holding the radio while you're reconnecting the plugs. Place the radio back into its compartment and secure the clip. Step 10. Testing the interface operation. Checking basic operation. Connect the nav tool interface to the two plugs designated for it. Check the operation of the following functions. Hazard lights, radio controls, joystick operation, air conditioning. It is recommended to test nav tool interface operation before performing the reinstallation of the front panels. If all of these features are operational, the installation is performed correctly and you can proceed to reassembly. Step 11. Replacing the 8mm screws. Put back into their place hexagonal head screws located under the top of the bottom panel. Step 12. Connecting the video wires. Connect the power supply's wire and the video wires to the matching ports on the harness. Step 13. Placing the interface. Hide the interface box and the excessive wires in the compartment located behind the bottom panel. Step 14. Reinstalling the bottom panel. Reconnect the plug in the middle of the bottom panel. Hide most of the wires behind the panel in the bottom compartment. Place the bottom panel securely in place and secure its clips. The optimal way is to run the wire from the nav tool interface outside to place it in the right corner of the panel. This concludes the installation process. Test process. Testing video operation including iPhone connectivity. 
Put the ignition on and connect your device to the vehicle. Start the video application. Choose a movie you would like to watch and start playing. Place your head unit in the auxiliary mode marked AUX. Press the cancel button for three seconds. One, two, three. If the installation is performed correctly, you should be able to see a picture on screen and receive the sound through the car stereo. The brightness of the screen is controlled by the factory brightness button on the radio. Also, you can use day or night mode. To switch back to navigation, you'll need to press the cancel button for three seconds again. You can also listen to the different sound sources, for example, the radio, and watch the video at the same time. This concludes the tutorial video for installing the HA-HDD, the very first navigation video interface compatible with the Acura RDX 2013-2014. Please keep in mind that the NavTool video interface is compatible with any video source that has component or composite video output.